If you are confused about which school to attend, or you have no idea what you want to do with your future, then go to UT, because it's the best school ever. Hook em. Hook em horns. Misty drops are falling on these... Hey y'all. Today I thought I would make a video for y'all, I guess just college survival tips, just because, I mean, I am in college. And I feel like I get this request all the time. And through the years I feel like I've acquired a couple of tips and just advice that has helped me out. And so I thought I would share some of it with y'all. Let's just jump right in. Number one, if you ever don't understand a concept in any of your classes, for me, it was chemistry. Like, every single time I went to class, I felt like the whole time I was just taking notes and trying to write down everything the teacher was saying because it wasn't processing. And then later on, I had to go teach myself everything that I wrote down. And it was just kind of like going to class was, there was no purpose. So I started watching YouTube videos um, over all the concepts in all my classes that I didn't understand, whether it's history or thermodynamics or, I mean, anatomy videos helped me so much just seeing it visually. So that is something that definitely helped me bump my grade from a B to an A. Number two, don't wash your fuzzy blankets with your clothes because your clothes will become covered in little fuzz balls. So now I have probably like three pairs of leggings and maybe a couple of shirts that just have these little hot pink fuzz balls on them because I washed my blanket with my pants. That was not a good idea. Number three, don't pay full price for your textbooks. Okay, everybody get out a piece of paper and a pen and write this down, slugbooks.com. This is one of the coolest websites. It helped me out a ton because it doesn't actually sell you anything. You just type in your ISBN number of the textbook and it brings up all of the textbooks and where they're selling them and compares prices. It's kind of like the Expedia for textbooks. And so don't be lazy and just buy the book full price, but actually compare prices and find the cheapest one. Number four, if you're sick, actually make a doctor's appointment, even if it's in a couple of days, and go. Because I'd always get sick or start to get sick, and then I'd be like, oh, it's a cough, like it's gonna go away. And then three days later, I would have bronchitis, and I would be up like 48 hours just coughing my head off. So I feel like just going to the doctor, especially I know they give like student discounts around a lot of campuses. Number five, take advantage of student discounts. A lot of people don't know about these discounts, but stores like J. Crew, Banana Republic, Juicy Couture, um, where else? Madewell, they all offer about 10 to 15% student discount, so you just have to bring your student ID and flash that bad boy. It's like a backstage pass and you get 10%, 15% off of your whole purchase year round. It's not just a like monthly thing. I know Urban Outfitters also, they give student discounts. I'll actually link a website that I found all the uh, stores that offer student discounts down below so y'all can check that out if you would like. I kept a bunch of my uh, high school worksheets and textbooks, not because I thought I would need them in the future just because I kind of forgot about them and they were on underneath my bed and I've actually been able to use them so much especially for anatomy and Spanish those two particular courses um, but it, if anything it just helped with the review I mean just going over some of my old tests and um, I feel like what I did learn in high school it was obviously like not as advanced but it does help especially because a lot of your courses in college will kind of will start from like upper division levels so they won't go over a lot of the um, basics and just having some of those textbooks or worksheets from high school have helped me a lot. If you can take online classes then do it because for me I don't know UT Spanish everyone told me it's really really hard don't take it there and I took Spanish one this past semester and they were right it was really hard so now this winter break I'm taking Spanish two online. It's very time consuming but it's a breeze and it doesn't factor into my GPA so I just get the credit. So maybe talk to your advisor about some online classes that you can take. Be careful about what you're posting on Instagram and Twitter because nowadays it's so easy to um, learn so much about a person just by looking at their Facebook or their social media and I know a lot of employers all they have to do is type your name into Google and a lot of that will pop up so just be careful when you're posting those pictures onto Instagram. Take one to two classes that maybe don't help 
with your major. You might find out that you are more interested in that than something else or you will just become a more well-rounded person. Like for me, I started taking um, advertising classes and I found out that I actually like those business foundation classes more so than the kinesiology classes I was taking and so now I switched my major and I'm doing something completely different and I'm probably not going to graduate in four years but I already told my dad so it's okay. To stay organized and to be on time places I started using my iPhone reminders so it's kind of like setting an alarm and they just pop up. I don't know why people say you don't have homework in college because you definitely do and I mean just having a day planner to write down all the page numbers that I need to read or the page numbers of the assignments that I need to complete just have helped me a bunch. So that's not something you just do in high school. In college, you have to stay organized too. Those are pretty much all the tips that I have for y'all. If y'all wanna leave your college survival guide tip down below, I would love to check them out. Y'all can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram. My usernames are Austin 2 the number two, and I have a Facebook as well. It's uh, facebook.com slash official. So if y'all wanna go like my page, that would make me really happy. And I would love it. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I guess I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Hook 'em horns, baby. Those curving lines of your lips on mine. Who am I? I don't even know myself at all. And who are you? Just let me know before I fall off in the night. Lost in your eyes, you can take me where I want.